municipal de Souston, dans le sud-ouest de la France. Tu arrivais de Calais. Les camps étaient démantelés et les policiers vous ont convaincu, toi et tes amis, de monter dans les bus avec comme promesse des papiers à la clé si vous respectiez toutes les consignes. Vous étiez 32 hommes et j'ai proposé de vous donner des cours de français. Tous les deux, on est vite devenus amis. Une de ces rencontres qui nous mène sur une route que l'on ne soupçonne pas. J'étais réalisatrice, curieuse de connaître ton histoire, et toi, tu voulais tout raconter. Ouais, mon français est déjà beaucoup comme, ce, comme ça, mm -hmm. comme c'est... Écoutez, maintenant. <rire> <rire> mon oral, moi aussi. <rire> ok. Encore, je ne parle pas français. Oui. J'ai oublié le je ne sais pas pourquoi. <rire> <rire> Comme euh, euh, un personne, ouais. il est parti aux États-Unis, en Amérique. Euh, il fait comme un an comme ça aux États-Unis. Après, il ne parle pas anglais. Il parle un petit anglais, comme ouais. en français. Après, il a oublié tous les euh, langues du Romo. Ah ouais? Ouais, ouais, ouais. <rire> <rire> non, ça va pas t'arriver, t'inquiète pas. Hein. <rire> N'aie pas peur, hein, c'est bon. <rire> ouais, okay. Donc là, tu oublies. 
À l'époque, tu étais triste, en colère contre la vie et fatigué de ce long voyage insupportable qui n'en finit pas. Un jour, tu m'as demandé « Si la France arme les gens qui veulent me tuer et qu'elle ne veut pas de moi ici, alors quelle est ma place dans ce monde ?» Je n'ai pas eu besoin d'en savoir beaucoup sur ton histoire pour comprendre que rien ne pourrait te détourner de ton combat pour ton peuple, les Oromo. J'ai aussi vite compris que beaucoup de choses nous séparaient. Nos langues, nos cultures, nos histoires. Ce film allait devenir un prétexte pour passer du temps ensemble et essayer de se comprendre. Yeah, Adunya formatan tau. That means in English, education or knowledge without love doesn't change for the world. If you educate the lot and they create bomb and they're killing all the children, what's the solution? But if you share food with children without knowledge, I think it's better than. The learning also is important. Huh? Education. Is yeah, le yeah, yeah. Learning is education is important. I am not against of education. I believe on it. But it's good if we make them together. Love and education. That is what I want to say. I was 12 when I get jailed for the first time. I was 12 when I get tortured for the first time. When I was kid, I was looking after the cattle in the morning. Then I going to school. <laughs> One morning, our teacher was doing demonstration to stop government to burning Bali forest, and they all get arrested. The day after, me and my school friend did demonstration to free our teacher. We wanted to learn. We arrive in front of the jail to protest and the wee gate surrounded by police. Most of the students run away, but few of us get arrested. They're asking us many questions, they beat us, they torture us, all the day. They broke our mind and our body with a black stick and the military shoes. They beat us so much, we ask them to finish and kill us. They beat us so much, it will be better to be dead. We were kids. At night, they call our parents. I was almost dead and my dad had to sign a paper. I was not allowed to go to school in the region. I was not allowed to learn anymore. My mom take care of me and they bring me every day to traditional massage. I don't know how to recover from that. My body was destroyed. Then my dad decided to send me to another region to protect me. I was 12 when I got separated from my family for the first time. I went to Jimma where I started learning martial art. 
my body and my mind were recovering. Five years later, I come back to my city to open a sports center. I hire a lot of students and it was very good for the city. But the government ordered me to teach martial arts for the police and to give them the name of my student in case they were trying to make revolution. I refused. The day after, they start to arresting some of my students and one of them called me to tell me to run away. The police was looking for me and badly this time. I went hiding to Finfinne, the capital city of Romia. I started to learning laboratory and private school. But after a few months, they find me again. I escape and start running. I realized I couldn't live in my country anymore, even if I did nothing wrong. I left. They made me hopeless, familyless, happyless, countryless, refugee. Okay. Okay. So you want to do music? Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the last time we, we, we talked about um, the the text and the lyrics you, you wrote and and this melody we found and I thought it would be good to make on this chorus like um like like very simple chorus like that. So for chorus I forgot that. Yes, you couldn't start with. His voice and then we record our voice um or at the same time how we no it works. first first up to you i think and then we are doing the, the and then we record okay the, okay. the background Wait, singing the background chorus <laughs> like <"Hoo -hoo -hoo." laughs> is that fine for you <laughs> <laughs> no don't no not you <laughs> <laughs> so i prepared this like um a little bit more funky with more rhythm If we sing la 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 la, yeah. <laughs> because in Oromo we're not good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, what does it mean? Kota la 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 la. Kota la 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 la. It's um, it's about unity. Uh, let us be united. Mm -hmm. Let us working together. Let us growing together. Is that for Oromo and, uh, people? Just. It's not for Oromo people only, but it's by Oromo, Oromo, Oromo language. language yeah. And yeah. Uh, if you want, you can translate to French as well you to, to Germany, to mm -hmm. Deutsch. Okay, we, we, <laughs> will, yeah. we will translate. Mm. Get united. Okay. Yeah. Unité. Yeah. How are you saying German? Kota. Mm, Einheit. Okay. Well, Einheit. Einheit. One night or? One night. Einheit. <laughs> <one night. laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a really positive. Ah, yes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this. 
<laughs> so it's it's um it's really positive actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the situation in Ethiopia? Right now. Yeah. Uh, it's very bad. And it is very happy and uh, very uh, enjoying time for one group. Mm. And it is very bad and uh, the crying time for another group. There are 87 different ethnic in Ethiopia, which is a lot. Amara are 30% of the population, Tigrayan are 5%, and Oromo are 40%. I am Oromo, and we are the majority in this country, but we don't have the power. Tigrayan are leading the country for 27 years. Before them, Ethiopia was leading by Amara regime, Derg regime, Ayla Selassie regime, and the Menelik regime. But most of the resource, gold, coffee, marble, are in Oromia, in my region. Since a century, the different governments are killing my people and my culture to take what belongs to us. In 1999, the government started to collaboration with the center of urbanism of French city of Lyon to develop the capital city of Addis Ababa. The collaboration is called the Master Plan. It's supposed to contribute to the development of the facilities in the city and also to grow Addis Ababa to a circle of 100 kilometers around. This extension will be used by foreign investors to develop the companies and the make profit with our land. We call them invaders. 100 kilometers is a lot. To take the Ormo land, the government has killed, put in jail, or throwing on the street all the farmers. This master plan will displace 2 million of Oromo farmers. The foreign companies are growing like mushroom, and no Oromo is getting profit of that. Our culture is disappearing at the same time that they are stealing our land. The master plan was secretly deal in 1999, but the people only knew about it in 2014. So Oromo farmers start to protesting against the government and they follow by students. They understood that soon, Oromia won't be their land anymore. A million of students went on the street. The opposition political leaders are getting arrested, our youth is getting killed, and the international community is keep silent, making business with Ethiopian government. makes uh, much less difference for an Oromo to be a refugee because we are refugees right here in the country also. Uh, we are evicted at will, people are evicted from their land uh, and, and they resist, uh, young people resist the laws of the land so they protest against the government and the government imprisons them, tortures them, and kills them, and they run away. The system we have here is created and supported 
by the same Western powers that you go call global community. And uh, if you resist here, you're called a terrorist. I am a professor at the University of Science and Technology in Funerati. Fudrati is a very good person. He is a very Baratan Romo, dar gagesi Romo, kote bulan arkasadua, kapsoni gagesi ajarura. Kuni mama lagar sisa, wamba yego chuni tu dandamu, garu egrebi ya kanati viadura. Romo vi arkasadua nagada, mergasa kwa chisura, arkasa gudu kuwa abacho chun, kapsoni Afrika kesi, kapsoni bekam di gudang kena mufi ni rajratu vi, kapsoni sena kabeza. Kuni mama lagar sisa biya kanavi, abdi gudang kante vi. Bijoto gudda tan kesa tiyo si abaye kan mulla tu miti. Ituati barat tejur tu namoni profession intane barumsa sana ingamne dona moto kur gudda baratani galani gasano jetan argita. Yerot gafika na dey si tu mo mo tu man si asa tigati si jala ge darufi mani hit ake si dala oro mo tin gu tejra. Filan no gati ingamne fi yon du e du e yon chararga e mo. Lafa lubung kot tijra cuci dan desa lafa tijra cuci ya wanjan amufi biaya nama dema dua bak ateh tu flan no gatin kami fi dua gara gara tidak bersama. Waroti jual lepas nol batin itu fakat. Amman nanti nuturu muka saya kanari fakat. Sini nak si berbaca ni nu isis bata ni nu fida. Ganam bata garu galgal sarle mana mbulte. Ganam bata na saati sadeti refa nu fida ni tu fakat. Garu na jechana mati mara sas maru kutamte luka si kana tu phone si cete bu ekesa. Ani tu makan sa ni naga rayu. Enam mana bawa bicara nargi malay. Saat ini bicara nargi itu rukun tak mungkin naga. Untuk mana yang ini beng ini yang mal malam bekan, orang bekuan ini bekun dor. Ani satu sakan iya tak mal sakan jalan. Orang bekuan mana tu kau? that they're going to France, they're going to the UK, they're going to, the, to Canada. No, they just run because they think any place is better than here. They run away to Europe, they run away to America, to Canada. And the paradox is that it's the same Europeans, Canadians and Americans who support this government. And we are running away from the dictators they create. So if we come to Europe, you should only blame yourselves, not us. Where, where else should we go? Shall we go and jump into the ocean? No, we, we also love our life. So you want a solution? The solution should come from the same people who caused the problem in the first place. And who caused the problem in the first place is Europeans, meaning the Western world. That's the way I see it. Yeah?
Ramon ini mana mah Jesus jalan tu, timbar bad, lubu na mah bi dua gudah kena. Karena ni ti, mesha bar badun dan dia umat orang. Utu aku mah orang sana, orang mah orang mula bar rabi teh kena. Aku sana ni kau bar badai, biar barangji tu kat sini. Kau bar badai kat sini, tu kon sana ni ular barangji dah yo nasi nanti. Karena timbar bad orang mah, timbar bad. Malih lubu na mah bi dua gudah kena. Nama kapa je. Orang mau dua orang jero, sebab sebab mau tak kem, nama kami itu bayi aja Allah tak kau baca. Yo nama ibu kami beranu fegalat, tapi yang kena terak kade, amu mah muka mure mana tijare, minam busek, laba oga to kosa gak ken nevi laba kudek ken nevi. Jiran cisa, hamman ni udang tu, agkasit tiga, di desa tu. Beka kem, beka angkem ni yo yo wan tu kata malif jere bermana ija. Kanan berarti alitnya. Nuga fio gafan ni, bermana itu? Jadi sih rumah kami kerja mana itu? Gafi janggang kami gafan. Gafi mirga o gafan. Orang di ponun. Al Buddha king. Al Buddha lepas kenyang rabu. Ham mana kerja antak kami? Al Buddha santai. Negarin tiga itu ko, fik ada malay negara. Akbar badi telaga si, akbar badi tidur bulan si. Lepa yobar badi, rakaza lepan itu awal jarai. Kabel ini murad gugur kaza, iye titi, ije kini bulan tu ko tengah di. Salam ayat salpi maba tadi, ani kan alam ini tergam ya tu ko. Dua tiga nadi, jolle tinggal nadi. Kan jarak ane fikir ada dalam urut kaya Amerika mengisi, formal sikit. Pan sokong kan? Isan tu rupai seni itu aye malis ingka aye di. Mirca yo ruf, makasa mirca. Inna nu i sabjalan numaran reba menjadi am. Akuat mirca di undekan. Akuat di saat ini tidak ani food ani yang kenya dari lakau. Ugar aku, pan sokong kan? Barlam aje nama mizi orang kun. Tok keti nama mera tak yer gini. Oke sani boleh mera tak ikan ta ani isan ini mukti. This coffee is uh, on the world. Uh, it's coffee arabica. The export has coffee arabica. In Hi. France, you say for this coffee, uh, coffee arabica, and supermarket everywhere. But the coffee is from Oromia. <laughs> it's not from arabica. <laughs> there isn't coffee arabica. <laughs> okay, no coffee arabica. <laughs> yeah, it's coffee Oromia because we never export by Oromia name steam. That's why they buy from us, and as I say, coffee arabica stamp on it. Ah, ok. Yeah. Il est décaféiné ou pas <rire> Non, pas je dors bien, c'est sûr. And it's always woman who prepare coffee or man also Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time, mom. Mom uh -huh. is very busy there. Always she's busy because... She's doing everything. She, of course. Mm. Yeah. You have brother and sister yeah, of course, I have seven. Uh -uh. We lot, huh? Yeah, we lot. Are they still there in Ethiopia? Or? Uh, yeah, most of them they're there. They're living there. Yeah. Most of them just they run away because of uh, their politics. Mm -hmm. They run away. Uh, my sister is in America, and uh, my brother is in Kenya. Yeah, he was fighting a lot. He was a oh. teacher. Mm. They put him many times in prison, and uh, they shoot him at the end. And uh, he's safe because of uh, he have a lot of friends, doctor, professor. They have they they, they are a group. Just mm -hmm. they save him. Just they bring him to Kenya. I talk with him. How? With a uh, Skype or with a phone or because in Kenya we we you have a network to talking with him. But in Ethiopia it is not possible to talk with my family. Is yeah, I don't have contact now. They make. Uh, emergency state and uh, they control all the network it is not possible to call and uh, before yesterday on sunday and monday in my region where i born mm. the people was praying in the church the gate in the church and the kill in the church people who praying this amazing when when army are getting the church and they kill you in the church 
uh, they killed two children in front of the church, you know. One is 11 years, one is 9 years. The 9 years one is killed by four shots. I don't know why they want to shut him four times. This is 9 years. I don't know who is Ethiopia, who is Oromo, who is uh, army even. I don't know, you know. Just this means that it's a genocide, you know. It's a genocide. Yeah. By the Ethiopian army. Yeah, by Ethiopian army. Uh, but yeah, I I want to leave my country to sure because uh, just I don't have reason to come. Just I ran away from the weapon, you know. Yeah, I ran away from the weapon. If I am there, I will kill. They will kill me to sure. Yeah, that's why I ran away. And. Uh, Anyways, let's make a coffee now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do the coffee now. <laughs> Cheers with Oromo Oromia. coffee. Yes. Oromo coffee. Thanks a lot. It's the first time that you coffee. Eh bien, oui, mais pourquoi pas? C'est pas pas, c'est vrai. Non, j'ai peur après. Je dors pas, moi. J'ai peur. Ah, non, je suis pas très malade. For me. For me. I miss my country, I miss Romia. For you, I want to say welcome to Romia one day. I hope. Nice. Yeah. Tomorrow or after one year, after two years, after this government is changed, yeah. come to see the tree of coffee. Just we will drink under that coffee tree. Mm. Ah, ouais. Wow. Il est costaud. Il est costaud. You cook? In your home? With your mother? Uh, I eat only. <laughs> you never cook? Better than music. Uh, yeah, I never cook at home, but uh, I started cooking when I was in Libya. Yeah, I've been in jail in Libya many times. In the morning, always they arrive. When they arrive in the morning, we all, this, the coming like, just the coming like that. When they start to checking, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, on your head, to beat you uh, like, uh, the, you know the black, the black tube of the police? Yeah, yeah. The, They check like that, they count like that, and uh, it is not possible when they beat you like that, it is not possible to say like this, protect, no. no. If you protect like that, just they, 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 they beat you as you hate yourself. And every time you pay to get out? Uh, no, I am not pay for all the times. One time there was changing from another prison to another prison because a lot of prisoners are coming, you know. Then they are taking us on the car. The clothes, the car is closed, you know. It's like metal. The car is like metal. It is not way mm -hmm. to, to 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 run away. But we prepared some metal to broke to to open the key. So we broke, we broke. I don't know how to say. Yeah. Just we broke the car. Yeah. yeah, and we was waiting until they buy cigarette or until they buy water or something. Yeah. When they stop, we was a lot in the car. Just we, we say, ooh, like shout, we shout. We jump out and we start running, everyone running away, you know? Down, yeah. yeah. When we run away, they, they start to shooting and uh, they start to, yeah, I think they arrest few people. And I think they shoot few people. But we run away, we escape. Most of the people are making a film like a prison break or prison sheet or prison whatever. It is not more than my life. I did reality, I crossed the reality more than prison break. Uh, sometimes I feel ah, just I'm going to collect my money from my, my family to prepare my days. Because you're going to die. You pay to die, you know. You die on the sea, but you don't care. It is the same if you stay in Libya, you die. If you stay in Ethiopia, you die. You die on Sahara Desert. Some of my friends, he collect many times money from his family. 
you know this money is from family they are not only for you they have another kids they are working for themselves they are not working for one person you know mm -hmm. and this guy he trained 11 times to cross the sea you mean? to cross the sea not to out of the jail to cross the sea he accept money 11 times at this 12 times his brother said to him if you lucky if you succeed by this trip good luck if you don't succeed just don't call me again because i want to live my life when you accept 12 times it is $24,000 you accept then he try and uh, he arrested by the trip and uh, he come back uh, the next morning when we when we is not come to cafe is not come to see us we going to his home and uh, we start to knocking the door is not open the door we knock the door is not open the door then we going to break the window and uh, look at him inside the door in the, in the in the room just he kill himself yeah which we live is not life which we cross is not life you know i have to be voice for voiceless people of my country they don't have voice they don't have chance to talk as me if you keep silent with, with your disease there is no medicine mm -hmm. a lot of people are die in front of me on the sea a lot of people are die in front of me on the desert they are not talk anymore they ghost so i am not ghost i have to talk for them yeah i don't want someone yeah we arrive here today and there are so many children who come tomorrow so i don't want to them to run away forever if i don't talk and change the situation of ethiopian government we die forever nobody hear about us nobody we try one chance only one chance just to live we try one chance in the life in the life everyone has a thousand of chance to live to work to learn to song to make a film to do everything what you want as human being but as me we have only one chance to live not to not to not to be famous not to be rich not to be educated to live we have only one chance yeah and we cross all the chance and we arriving here when we arriving here in european country they treat us as we are here to collect dollars or euro What are you talking during the day? Like yeah, what's, just what's the during the conversation day. Conversation you have between you, you and your because yeah, just kind of we mentioned. we talking about our family. We try to be happy, to like look like happy. We try to forget something, and uh, we just we we make a fun between us because someone is uh, jumping when they make electric and uh, when they go. Just we make a fun. It's not fun, but we want to forget something because of that we make fun yeah. between us yeah. and uh, just the day is going like that. But during the night, everyone is cry. Believe me. We all cry during the night. I cry all the night. Just... Uh,
started to surf a lot when I was a kid, like 10, 11 years old. And from that day, uh, I never stopped. And more and more, I, I was uh, really uh, like ad addict. But addiction of ocean for surfing is two things. You're addict about adrenaline, like uh, you have fear. You know you cannot make any mistake because if you make mistake, you can die. So the fear uh, gives you energy to like uh, to move faster. Like the wave is coming to you, the, the fear say you run, go. Yeah. So you, you forget your muscle, and so this is adrenaline, and you have the the good feeling like uh, happiness. When just when you ride a wave, you, you feel something crazy like you feel the energy of the ocean and you're really happy. And when you stop your wave, you want to go back to take another one and another one and you, know, you never want to stop. And the, the, the thing, the most difficult thing with the ocean, it is all time difference, all time. The ocean is always beautiful. It's always in your case it's terrible, but human like the changing because uh, we were like nomad, not living in a house. You know before, yeah, we are not living in a house. We are always moving the land to to, to find uh, water and and food and so you always want to see something different. And with the ocean, you always see something different. So I think it's really good for for here. Yeah. For me, uh, yes, it is good. Why not? <laughs> the memory of the sea is a lot for me because I try like six times to arrive. One of the stories, uh, we find the Canadian boat. It was the middle of the night, it was very dark, they make a big light over us and they say for us, hey stop, who are you? Then we say we are refugee, just we asking them to, to help us and they say no it is a criminal to help you, we, we can't and uh, we asking them to, to take us to Canada <laughs> and they say we can't. Okay, take us to Italy. We can't. Okay, call telephone. They say, we can't. They give us uh, water, little water and a little bread. And uh, we start to driving to the bad way. They say to us, this is a bad way, we're going to die. Yeah, we start. So the army, they, they see you in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. You almost die. Yeah. But they don't don't save you. Yeah, they don't save us. And, uh, they just leave you in the middle of the ocean with no GPS and nothing. In the morning, one boat is arriving with an Italian flag. And they say to us, hey, you want to go into Italy? Then we all say, yes, get in the boat. They give us a stair. We all get in the boat. When we arrive on the top of the boat, they start to tighten our, our arm. Then we we all confused with the tightening for our arm. Then another boat is arriving and they come to close and they're talking each other. After they start to change the flag, put down the Italian flag and they flagging the Libyan flag. So they were Libyan? Yes, yeah, they were Libyan. I think the, the army is working for Libya and Italy, but they are Libyan security, I think. So they start to driving, you know, to Libya. We know that they are driving to Libya. That's the difference between you and me with the ocean. Yeah. You go because you have to go. Me, I just go to be happy and live my life. It's yeah. totally... Yeah, it is totally different. different. But uh, 
maybe I'm going to try to surf in now to, to have your feeling. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. Yeah, just to yeah, I don't hate for the sea. Uh -huh. uh, but there is something in my mind about the sea. When the boat is start always, I say we going to success or we going to die. I ask me for the sea. You going to kill us or you going to save us? And we just if we die, give strength for a month. If we save, thanks. When I arrived in France, no one knew about Oromo. We did so many demonstrations in Europe to protest against the Ethiopian government and to be heard by European. Before 2015, we were not recognized as a political refugee in France. And still now a lot of people don't have paper and are sleeping on the street. In 2015 and 2016, I went to European Parliament with other Oromo to give them a letter to asking them to stop supporting Ethiopian government. Quels sont vos critères Donc Pourquoi les, les Oromans maintenant sont reconnus comme, euh, en tant que réfugiés politiques Quels sont les, les critères de l'OFPRA qui leur ont permis d'avoir accès au, au droit d'asile Alors les, les critères de l'OFPRA sont les critères du droit international et européen. Euh, C'est-à-dire que, comme vous le savez, l'OFPRA, euh, lorsque les personnes sont sur le territoire français, mmh. applique la Convention de Genève, dont la France est signataire, qui veut que lorsqu'une personne craint pour des raisons d'engagement politique, 
d'appartenance ethnique, de croyance religieuse, ou alors parce que la personne appartient à un groupe euh, social dans certains pays. Prenons par exemple dans certains pays euh, euh, les homosexuels qui sont réprimés dans certains pays. À ce moment-là, la personne relève de la protection de l'OFPRA, du droit d'asile, à travers un statut de réfugié. Euh, si cela ne correspond pas, alors on prend en compte une situation dite de violence généralisée. C'est le cas par exemple en Syrie aujourd'hui ou dans la plupart des régions d'Afghanistan. Et donc, euh, à chaque fois, à travers un entretien ici à l'OFPRA, pour chaque demandeur d'asile, l'OFPRA va vérifier que le récit de la personne dans l'entretien, euh, au regard de la, ce que l'OFPRA sait de la situation dans le pays d'origine, euh, relève bien du droit d'asile. Si c'est le cas, la personne est protégée, sinon sa demande est, est rejetée. En l'occurrence, au moment où la demande d'asile a été formulée par euh, Solane et, et ses compatriotes, euh, la situation aux yeux de l'OFPRA était telle que cela conduisait à protéger... Euh, euh, la quasi-totalité de, de ces personnes, à un moment donné, puisque tout dépend de l'analyse qui est faite au moment, moment de demande l'instruction de la demande d'asile. Et comment vous avez rencontré cela Et quel, est, quel a été son rôle euh, pour la communauté Oromo euh, ici, réfugiée en, en France J'ai un souvenir très précis de, de cette rencontre. Euh, je crois que c'était euh, à peu près un mois avant le démantèlement complet de, du bidonville de Calais, au moment où, avec les équipes de l'OFPRA, euh, nous passions euh, beaucoup de temps euh, euh, dans le bidonville pour convaincre les personnes de rejoindre des centres d'accueil et demander l'asile en France. Euh, alors, alors que je déambulais dans le bidonville, euh, est venu à ma rencontre Solane avec deux de ses compatriotes, qui visiblement venaient s'informer. J'ai partagé avec eux, avec eux l'idée que la situation à ce moment-là dans leur pays était telle que, sous réserve d'un examen individuel, euh, ils avaient tout intérêt, l'OFPRA avait tout intérêt à ce qu'ils demandent l'asile. Mmh. Et nous nous sommes revus à plusieurs reprises parce que euh, Solane, comme ses compatriotes, était à ce moment-là, euh, euh, je dirais, dans l'interrogation, pour ne pas dire méfiant. Mmh. Ce que j'ai bien compris. Mmh. Parce que dans les années précédentes, l'analyse de l'OFPRA était différente euh, en Éthiopie. Et donc, euh, mmh. des compatriotes qui avaient demandé euh, l'asile avaient pu faire l'objet de déditions de rejet, notamment. Mmh. Mais nous nous sommes vus à plusieurs reprises et je dois dire que Solane a eu un rôle tout à fait décisif. Euh, m'a-t-il semblé, pour convaincre l'ensemble de ses compatriotes, ils étaient près de 200. Hein. Ça a été euh, un moment très très fort pour nous tous, et puis comme je le leur avais promis, euh, les équipes de l'OFPRA se sont rendues euh, à proximité des centres où ils se trouvaient, de manière à instruire les demandes d'asile très vite. Mm. Et je leur ai rappelé à ce moment-là le droit. Le droit, c'est que l'instruction de la demande d'asile, elle est individuelle. Mm. Mais que ce qui se prend en compte, c'est le parcours de chacun au vu de la situation dans le pays d'origine. Et à ce moment-là, la situation dans le pays donnait à penser, et c'est ce qui s'est produit, mmh. que l'immense majorité d'entre eux allaient pouvoir, après une instruction individuelle, euh, être protégés. C'est ce qui s'est produit, notamment euh, pour Solane. Voilà, donc c'est une rencontre dont j'ai un souvenir très précis. Et je dois vous dire qu'alors que euh, j'avais avec mes équipes passé euh, près de deux ans euh, dans la jungle de Calais avec euh, les migrants qui étaient là, euh, au moins une fois par semaine, je n'avais jamais rencontré les Oromo du bidonville. Parce qu'en fait, ils étaient euh, euh, dans une partie du bidonville que j'ai alors découvert, qui était une partie du bidonville euh, particulièrement insalubre. Leur vie est en stand-by quand ils arrivent en Europe. Ils attendent, ils attendent, ils attendent, ils attendent. Ils sont dans, dans la rue, ils, ils ont tous ce, ce même propos. Notre vie est en stand-by. On veut, on veut travailler, on veut aller à l'école, on veut participer. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait Je sais que les procédures vont être plus courtes, c'est prévu. Mais pour la plupart, parce que aussi le, ils n'ont pas été reconnus avant, ils n'ont pas pu demander l'asile avant, ils sont tous arrivés bien longtemps avant d'avoir pu être reconnus comme, comme réfugiés politiques. Voilà, c'est... C'est bien en stand-by. Comment, comment on fait pour, pour modifier ça, pour que les choses aillent plus vite Moi, je connais bien ça. Euh, à l'OFPRA, nous connaissons bien ça. Bien sûr. 
C'est un motif euh, de préoccupation pour nous. Euh, vous savez, moi, je ne connais pas d'autre moyen de, que de continuer à agir. Euh, là, nous en avons un bel exemple en commun mm -hmm. à travers euh, ce groupe qui a pu être protégé parce que c'était notre devoir et que mm -hmm. nous avons pu le faire et que cela nous y a notamment beaucoup aidé. Mm -hmm. euh, il faut continuer dans ce sens. C'est d'abord une question de nature européenne. On voit bien que le système de Dublin ne marche pas. Last time I've been to Calais, uh, so uh, many people are in Calais again, Oromo refugees and the difference. They still young, they like 20, 21, 23, but they start to lose, lost hope. And uh, I ask them question to uh, what they want, and they say to me, uh, yeah, we want to stay somewhere, we don't want to suffer forever. We tired, that's what they say. I know, as a friend and uh, as a Mr. Pascal, I want to say to you thank you because for what you did for Oromo people. And uh, I want to ask you again to help me for these people because they told me already to stay in France. They want to stay in France. And uh, uh, I don't know what you say to me about them. First, I want to tell you that I am, as you know, I'm really very preoccupied by this situation. Uh, as you know, because we've been sharing this uh, a few months ago, I know very well the situation in Calais, yeah. even if it's not exactly the same situation as we knew. And I know that there are uh, Oromo, very young people there in Calais in a very difficult situation. So I am very worried about that, and I try to see how we can help for that. But what I can tell you first is that Nobody should go to Calais. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. We've been talking about that. We helped you and your group to go away from Calais, to find a solution in France. Uh, there is no solution in Calais. I come every time to, to, to see them, to, to treat them, to translate the language, to just you know, to give them some energy, because they are my brothers. Mm. So when I come always, they are living like this. And uh, it, was, it was a thousand of uh, ten, like this, you know. And uh, raining, the weather is cold. Uh, their life, they are living very difficult, you know, from, for many years. <laughs> Blessing <laughs> Be a you can sell me Gafanino to Cabale, Casigano, Mifena, and Terrini. You Acabaca immune to Romo to the city of Conuflano, which you look at Vena, Canumayani here.
ani <laughs> kana bodo wara kana ratisto ko fante yemu no jedu wol mo yuhim binu selam se dinti nan nan ture kana bodo dula kam ti ratakan ni aduna goden yam bo baro da juluhu bi kan jerani o jan sam sirila ma ol kan taw na tifden kam ti ratide ade masto ko fambe digasi bodo yadi ke mali se jedam da ga fatani je nan rom nyana se yirose na sirna ile sila se sabu bi te murama na barum sanem to ko desi ni so bi no rom nya a se fani nama Asi je nan baru aga udani baru sala mai rakane duke silbien fa chizu aka kana ti jilbilu kai du di chide amma biftuli du tama galu mana ti galu gaut aka kana ti dera ma kasi tur sobi no ro minya ase fa ni nama sobi oro mumma ko ti fto komo e fa ni nama e shampiona ti e a chu ti fumalu se gi chara asi sporti ras na ari ani du bude ti na debi sen e fa lan na be na mana du batu sen na be mana tan debi e du ro sen amo serna ile sila se ke sanam da bansa konna ko tu konna ko ta abansa kan ta itara jirmo ta itara ta a nam da bansa ta itara njir nam ni jari fi duale sto to antani ka gem ya bidja achu mata ya fa male hamma ko cha si kun dende akuma kana ti manati de be samanati de bu to mara ba ko jini no jio jeddu to manna bida bu to mo konna ko tu to mo li fati o ri fati su ya mo ni ga te je nam fu de dem fu de bo da galani wa ka fato jo le no re Regana jolle ore mo jolle ko ko on tenje de mona borum sagash. Daga ga ngira ma bolesu ma abrida. Abdini yero inne biye kana marshal arti jo ci suru fe an umrida ni baye tenon dure. Garu tenuma go ge seti wani yaradu mana sporti ge seti e gorsa gara gara nu ben raga gota baaye ture darga gota na jalen ante kuma go tina yaradda gorsa baaye gorsa susi ralle amanni wala ba gode arada gara gara ra amanni wala ba gode na yaradda cho de jo luma ko sana ke seta e khanu manga wal kabate abdini e itu ma sporti no jo ci sajiru halo ti gara gara ise danku dani biyasa ge sa kan jiran ni gode biyasa kadi se de ata o male chel kaba kaum san ni nu ke sat u me sana kaban ne achu man ka ne raga goti ba yen jur raga gonni magala kana chel kaba kam fa kenyen de abdi ma anisi isu ma yero sanan ni no je chi sa ranga se sport ji ala de amma yo na ti sport yo je chan jira si chete de mo darbe ti fu fena no je dai de ma yaar kan ma yaar den ga Kau 
Sirana pagi sedesi ko, kerasi na jabi se. Bache fagani ayo ko, ufen chali fani. Ori neti jarami desi ko, albin ko sibra ayo ko, garam ko bochola muhumma ko. ولكنني <تصفيق> Umur ini kemalai gurur aja cuti, abe deh bosé, hmm, jadi garat ibat tenun datun ibat te, gaf ulfamu nun garat nun ibat te jadi datun ibat tenun bus te, sedua meti aku moromu tak kasi, senjal lek dah aku, hmm, gurus ke kalai sami. Tunggu mam, buat make kerakan ni nol cebet amat. Eros aku tu kopi gigi, galana kan aku tuh gatuh gatuh nanti lah. Eros siap. Ya kebo undang doh malay sahdi, tu nama kebo kerat itu tora. Yang kebo vis malgu, yang galana kan aje. Sarin ni bal bal itu ada major rumah kami tinun legal cah. I just want to lay, rock, put the wall, lace, cross the road, wall, chill, chill, lace, I'll come, I'll come, yeah, they wall. Bye, bye. Thank you. 
gara sare sini fakenno duddarre sini fakenno biyor ma ke sasiras gara ballu manjiratu wiya to ko mole gine ije foni bolar guden de nyamma fura bolar git kana fi yuani ga kana jaras den de ina so uwa kayon tinna tisti sin gese amma kana ifa amma kana sin agar si se mo ifa kana caalu mo ijina agar si su lubbu ke sani mo hade resu je aga na gawa kayo kanu ana razo ndendo she treat us she protect us she teach us she wash our clothes she stand all the night when we cry she do all that then at the time i going to help for my mom when i am enough to helping for my mom I am not around. So I don't care. Yeah. It is a time for me to help him for my mom. Deep breath. 